Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0. And today is day two. So before we start diving into our specific applets, I wanted to do a quick walkthrough on your KW Command home screen, which you're going to see here on the screen. It's the, the screen that you basically log into and what you will see when you first put in your username and password. So let's take a look around on this screen. First thing I want to call out is all the icons on the left hand side. You're going to hear me use the word applet very often. Each one of these subsections of command is basically an applet. So you can see if you hover over the icons, you're going to know the name of each applet. You can also choose to click on the red KW box and it sort of slides that drawer out to the right and then you can have the names of the applets. You can choose as you're maybe a new agent and still learning the icons to have this out permanently. If you get to the point where you just know the icons well, you can choose to keep that closed and you're going to get a little more screen space as you can see. The very top toolbar, you obviously see a couple of tabs here. So we've got command, which is where we'll spend the majority of our time. But there is also connect inside command. So if you click on connect and we'll do a separate video on connect specifically, but this is an amazing training resource. Tons of assets, videos, uh, you know, all kinds of on demand courses as well. So check this out if you're looking to learn something specific around not just command, but really real estate in general. Search and Connect is a great opportunity to learn more about real estate, lead conversion, lead generation, those types of things. A really amazing resource put out by our Keller Williams University team. We'll go back into command and along this top toolbar, you're also going to see a couple of icons here. <coughs> Excuse me. This first icon that looks sort of like a, a marketplace is the marketplace. Look at that. It's a little miniature tent there. The marketplace is where you can access additional resources or uh, paid connections, um, other applications that you can connect to KW Command. So we'll reference a few of those throughout the challenge. Probably the most popular would be Twilio, which will allow you to encompass texting inside of Command. And we'll do a separate video on that as well. Uh, the next icon over is your bell notification. So this is where a lot of activity happens when you have tasks that are coming up, when you have email replies, text replies, unsubscribes, new leads. There's a ton of different notifications. We'll actually do a video specific to notifications, but just as a quick heads up, you're going to have a series of unread, a series of red notifications. You can also come in and play with the gear icon which will take you into your notification preference menu and you can decide what sort of notifications you want to receive and how you want to receive them. Finally, at the top right, you've got two additional buttons here. This is our drop down menu. We referenced this already yesterday when we talked about the referrals profile, my profile and the settings menu, which contains your marketing profile. You do have some command training links here. In addition, if you click on the question mark, you're going to get some additional links to get involved with guided tours of command, our KWU link, chat with support, and then answers.kw. Excuse me, ideas.kw.com, where you can post new ideas you'd love to see inside of command. Next up on the home screen, you've got four quick links to some contact filters. These are going to make more sense when we dive into the contacts applet. But each one of these, if you click on them, will immediately take you into the contacts applet and will have a specific filter applied to those contacts. We'll talk about each of those as we move into the contacts applet itself. Finally, you're going to see a series of widgets on your home screen. These widgets all reference different areas of command, different areas of your business, and they can be completely customized in the way that you see them and the order that you see them by clicking on this customize button in the top right. You can see that you have eight different widgets listed on the left hand side. You have the ability to check or uncheck the items that you want to see or don't want to see. And then on the right hand side, based upon the widgets that you have checked, you're going to see boxes for each one of those. So let's say um, I'm running a series of Facebook ads. It's really important for me to have my recent leads up top. And then I'd love to know what's happening inside of command on a regular basis. I'll put my product update second. Then I can I get an idea of what's happening in my market center with regards to sponsored events and then my notepad. 
I'm gonna rearrange those. And again, all you have to do is click and drag. So I'm holding down the mouse button as I drag this around. Once you get it the way you wanna see it, you can click on apply. And now you can see we've got recent leads at the top with product updates next. And then if we scroll down a little bit further, then we get into our events and our notepad. So completely customizable. Once you make the changes, it'll be that way every time you log in. Um, so you can customize it and then leave it that way. At any time, of course, you can come back in and decide to re-customize how you see it. So that's it for today, guys. Really just a quick video running through the KW Command home screen, all the important buttons, links, and tabs available. Tomorrow, we're gonna dive into day one of the contacts applet and start diving into building out a database and following those four laws of lead generation. As always, I look forward to talking to you real soon. Hope you have a fantastic day.